Increase your efficiency during thoracic, lumbar, and cervical placements with PHS Medical's patented epidural positioning devices, EPDs. EPDs gently encourage cervical, thoracic, and lumbar flexion while maintaining a solid and stable position. The patented chest support assists in both opening up the epidural space and supporting the chest so the back is immobile. EPDs offer a revolutionary alternative for assisting you in positioning patients safely and comfortably in operating rooms, labor and delivery suites, pain centers, or anywhere epidurals and spinals are performed. EPDs are intuitive to use and easy to set up, clean, and move between rooms. They can be used with mini C-arms to further assist in placement. EPDs fit patients with a wide range of body sizes and weights and offer multiple yet simple adjustments to accommodate various patient and table heights. When using EPDs, support staff are still in the room, but hands are free to assist the anesthesiologist more readily. Proper positioning is essential for a successful block, yet it can be difficult for a variety of reasons. EPDs eliminate many common safety and positioning concerns, such as the physical strength and stability of the caregiver holding the patient, or the inability of the caregiver or patient to achieve and maintain the proper position. Any unexpected movement during placement can result in accidental dural puncture or cause serious trauma to the patient. Makeshift devices can be both uncomfortable and dangerous. Use of EPDs can help reduce the likelihood of low back, shoulder, knee, or neck pain due to holding patients in awkward positions and eliminate unnecessary risk of injury to patients and caregivers, resulting in litigation and loss of time. To use the EPD package two. Step one, position the patient squarely on bed or table as far back as is comfortable. Roll the EPD directly in front of them, centering between legs. Step two, push downward on the two locking brake levers. This locks the two casters on each side. Lock both sets of casters. Step three, adjust the EPD to the proper height by turning the lever counterclockwise to loosen. Raise or lower EPD to the proper height for the patient. For optimal positioning, the headrest should be slightly below the level of the patient's head. Lock the height into place by turning the adjustment lever clockwise to tighten. Pull out on the lever to move it out of the way if needed. Step four, invite the patient to lean slightly into the EPD with their face resting comfortably in the face cradle and arms placed on the armrest. The face cradle is engineered for a full range of motion and comfort. Adjust the face cradle by lifting the handle. Lock the handle by pushing down once the desired position is achieved. You can also adjust the armrest up or down by pulling outward on the plunger and sliding into one of the placement holes to lock into position. Step 5. Adjust the footrest by pulling outward on the footrest plunger. Then, raise or lower the platform to obtain proper spinal curvature. Step 6. Loosen the knob on the side of the chest support to allow movement and advance with gentle pressure until optimal spinal curvature is attained and tighten the knob into place. Two different chest cushions are included to accommodate a variety of patient positioning needs. If necessary, you may raise or lower the chest support pillow by using the slide adjustment or you may completely remove the chest support if needed. Step 7. After the procedure, help the patient lean back into a normal sitting position or lay down on side. Unlock the wheels by lifting up on the locking brake levers. Roll the EPD package 2 out of the way. Alternate positioning for cervical placements can be achieved by removing the chest support rotating the EPD in the LDS base and locking into place. Position face rest flat. After locking the foot levers, 
invite the patient to lean slightly into the EPD with their forehead resting on the center of the face cushion and arms leaning on the armrest in front of them. To use the electric EPD, follow steps one and two as for the EPD package two. Locking just one caster lever locks all four casters in place. Step three, raise or lower the E EPD to the proper height by pressing the up or down buttons on the hand control. For your convenience, a hanger for the control is included on both sides of the front of the armrest. Step four, invite the patient to lean slightly into the EPD with their face resting comfortably in the face cradle and arms placed on the armrest. The face cradle is engineered for a full range of motion and comfort, adjust as needed. You can adjust the armrest by pressing on the ergonomic mech lock release and sliding easily into place. Release to lock. Step five, adjust the footrest by pressing the up or down button on the hand control, raising or lowering the platform to obtain proper spinal curvature. Step six, adjust the chest support by pressing on the ergonomic mech lock release and sliding with gentle pressure until optimal spinal curvature is attained. Simply release to lock into place. Slide the chest support cushion up or down by lifting to release the ergonomic lever and then lock into place by pushing down. Step seven. After the procedure, help the patient lean back into a normal sitting position or lay down on side. Unlock the wheels by lifting up on the locking brake lever. Roll the E EPD out of the way.